Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Town in North Eastern. And um here we are, we're back on the farm, but um we're not doing a video of the farm this week and um, because I have a little bit of a dilemma. But we do have one more video on the farm to wrap up the series as it were. And um yes, the dilemma. Right. I shall show you what it is. So the dilemma I have is, no it's not this building, it's what's underneath this building. And it's the storage yard. It's a ten road storage yard. Now then, when I first put this storage yard in I thought ten roads would be enough to hold everything um, that I own for this layout and I've been doing this now for coming up to eight years this year and we seem to collect a lot of rolling stock so <laughs> my demo dilemma is um, I just have not got storage space anymore um, when I worked it out I thought yeah I would have a few passenger trains and a few freight trains and um, that would be it. I'd still have at least two or three storage yards empty. But uh, as you can see we're almost full to the brim. Um, I wanted to back up the postal train which is just sitting here and there's just no room for it. So, I thought it's time to start putting some of this rolling stock into storage boxes. So, let's have a look at how I'm going to store some of this rolling stock and create some space on the layout. So, a few weeks back I started looking at the cost of some of these uh, model railway storage boxes, especially for double O gauge. And as you can see, this, they can start from £14 plus postage all the way up to um, £109, believe it or not, um, for some of these boxes. And uh, when I was at Getz, I saw some lovely boxes. But they wanted £40 a piece. And I thought, no, this has got to be a cheaper way. So I looked around and I come up with this. This is Ryman. If I just come back a bit, yeah, you can see the full page. You can get six 5.5 litre pack. Um, storage boxes for £25. Now that is six. Not one, but six. Um, so I bought some of them. And I'm thinking 5.5 litres, that's going to be at least uh, 60 mil deep uh, by 220 across. I think it gives you the sizes. And I'm thinking, well, I can hold possibly five carriages in that. And... Um, yeah, so that's what I did. I bought some of those. So let's have a look at them. And here is the manufacturer of these boxes. It's White Fuzz. Weird name, but uh, there you go. It's a British company. And there's the contact details. Uh, if you phone them up, you might get them cheaper than what um, Ryman and selling them at. And they're made in the UK, so you don't have to wait too long to get your hands on these. Now. You can get bigger ones, but uh, these are 5.5 litres. And the good thing about them is they drop into each other. Like so, they lock into each other. Um, as you can see with these, I've lined them out with some foam. 8mm foam. Um, I've managed to acquire this free um, from where I work. But um, 
you might be able to line yours out uh, in a similar fashion, maybe using card or, or anything like that. But uh, yeah, now as you can see, I've got one uh, Palatops uh, Royal Cambridge sausage fan in there, and uh, you could probably get five coaches in there quite easily. Um, for those of you who want to use foam um, for your boxes, um, to stick the foam to the boxes you need some of this Spartac heavy duty adhesive spray. It's what they use for sticking down um, those square carpets. So you just spray that onto there, like that, and then let that dry for a few seconds. And then we just pick that up and then put it into our box. And once you've put that onto the base, then it's just a case of going around the outside with some 50mm strips. And then uh, we can then attach the card. That's if you want to do it this way. And now we can partition it off into five bays, if you like, um, using some 1mm card. And the next thing to do is to just add a little bit of super glue on these card joints. Now if you look closely you can see where the card has just um, pushed itself into the foam. So all I'm doing now is just securing these card partitions if you like using some super glue. I will uh, put the super glue down both sides and and hopefully that will secure the card in and then once the super glue is dry then we can add the vehicles that you want to put in here whether it's coaches or vans or whatever you like be interesting to see what you get in the way of vans in here we shall find out in a minute. The super glue won't take long to try. And the good thing about this is it's ever so light. They're nice light boxes. So it's ideal for you guys who do exhibitions and things like that. I have placed uh, four seven plank wagons in there just to give you a, an idea of what you can get in these boxes. So at this rate you could get 20 coal wagons in there. Uh, it is a bit of a tight squeeze but they're all coupled up with the couplings pushed into the foam. But if you use card, um, some cardboard, some three mil cardboard all the way around, they'll probably fit in a lot easier. But there you go, you can get 20 of those coal wagons in there. And here's what it looks like with five coaches um, in one of these boxes. Um, now this is the Royal Train. It's, uh, it's only been on the layout a couple of times, but um, it's one less line in the storage yard. So I can put probably the mail train away now. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like with just the five uh, coaches. And when you think about it, even if you just use card um, um, to kit kit out these boxes, it still works out cheaper when you get six for 25 quid, um, which is what you almost pay for one. So I just thought uh, I'd show you this uh, as a cheap alternative for um, um, double O gauge storage boxes. And uh, yeah, I think it's well worth it. And now we have a cheaper alternatives to some of those um, storage boxes that we've seen earlier on in the video. And uh, I know where I'll be spending my money on in the future. And um, maybe you guys like to take me up on this over and get some of these for yourselves. So there you go. Right, so we've almost come to the end of this video. And uh, you'll probably join me again soon when we have one last look at Snoop Down Form Farm. 
where we shall do the last details. Right, so now I've got somewhere to store my trains, except on the layout. Thanks for watching now. See you again soon. Bye.